still raining. But I'm gonna die. Welcome to car time! Woohoo! We are going to be discussing the idea. Do you have an idea? The initial idea of a video is what I'm talking about. I have thousands of ideas coming through my head all the time, and how I capture them is really quite important. I use field notes books. Obviously, it hasn't got to be these, but these are pocket sized, easy to take with you anywhere, and actually, Scuffing them up in your pocket actually adds character and the more beat up they get, the better they look to me. So why do I carry them around with me? It's just to capture that initial spark of an idea. Like, pss, and it could be a, a title for a video, it could be a thumbnail, it could be just a specific one scene. I mean, if I was to just flick through, uh, this, this is my first one and it's, as you can see, Half the pages are still folded up, half are folded down. So when I complete a project that's been in here, I corner it down. And my aim is to go through all my notebooks that I've got notes in and eventually have all the corners folded down like that. And then I'll add that to my collection library. And it's great to look back on that, how that idea actually started, like the birth of that idea. So a lot of these ideas, as you can see here, they haven't been folded down yet. So I've got I've got a lot of material that I've not even started to create yet. A lot of short films in here. Very random ones that probably will never be made, but I want to make them because obviously that's the aim is to to complete the book. You know, two weeks ago, my uh, my video of camera settings. Well, there it is. That's all the notes I made on it. Uh, can you see? It says the heading, my camera settings. Completed it, fold down. Some of them are a lot more, well not a lot more in depth. My short film, yeah, I can teleport. That is the brains of the idea. So I've written down the intro scenes. Grab beer, close up of eyes looking at screen. Drink beer, close up smiles. End by turning and looking into camera. Teleport, and then show blueprints of a bank on screen. I didn't do the blueprint bit. I just left it to the imagination and a, a list of things that I had done. And then we've got also, next page, the bad results of what happened in teleportation. So I get stuck in a tree. Uh, I'm in a toilet where my wife is using it. <laughs> I end up naked. <laughs> I get locked out of the house. I fall to the ground lots and I land in dog poo. So these are the ideas that go through this little noggin, but it's a great way of capturing and scribbling even like ideas for like, even for thumbnails and stuff so like i've got i won't show what it is but i've got this film in in the works in a couple of time and this thumbnail shows like a hand grabbing something and i by putting that down i know now mentally oh uh, yeah that i can already see how that finished film is going to look another example yeah this one was a good one my product photography at home my epic photo shoot Take a look at this scribble I did. Doesn't it look very close, as you can see, to the finished thing? And that's why I love scribbling down ideas, because you never know what you're gonna get until you actually put it down on paper, I don't think. As a designer, we're always told to come up with the concept and put it on paper before even touching a computer. So I guess that's kind of it's kind of built into me that that way of working. So I got a lot of these because well, when I created that initial short film, um, The Notebook, I had used this notebook as my my storytelling device. Sent it to Field Notes, they liked it, and they sent me loads and loads of pens and pads to satisfy my notebook needs. You can also use your phone just in the Notes app. I, I still do that if I haven't got my book with me. When I get home, I like to put that into a pad because 
I like the tangible look. I like to be able to come back to it quick and easy. Like I say, draw scribbles on it, cross stuff off. I like to be able to fold it up, flick back and see the results in the future of what I've created for this channel. You must have thousands of ideas for the, your next film. It doesn't have to be a short film. It can be an idea for a vlog. It can be an idea for a photo shoot. Uh, it can be ideas for thumbnails, even ideas for just your title of your video. So get those ideas down, get a notebook, pocket sized, feel it works best, better than a phone. I feel just by carrying one of these books around, jotting down simple ideas, fleshing them out a bit further when you get home, you will then have ideas to last forever on your creating process. So often I see uh, posts on the groups about, I've got my niche, but I'm stuck for ideas, or I'm not inspired. You can always find inspiration by looking back at your previous notes, and there's something that will spark from just looking back at a title that hasn't been created yet. Do it, you won't regret it. Now, should we get some B-roll in the rain? <laughs> oh God. This camera I bought with me is not waterproof, so I'm gonna have to use my my beanie hat as a protection fit for it. Uh, wish me luck. Let's go and hunt for some horses. Bye for now.